Hello, Ophishas. Welcome to Psychic Sid. I'm a psychic shaman, me and Seer. I connect to deceased loved ones, spirit guides, ancestors, or gentle light. My service in the description box. You can also follow my only two social media accounts, Snapchat and Instagram. Thank you for your kind, calm, and nice description, donation, reading, booking, DM, messaging, and referral. You can call in your deceased loved ones, spirit guides, ancestors, or gentle light for a science and most simple synchronous of this reading for you. Ophishas are born from November 30th to December 17th. And if you want to cross watch, Look at your Chiron, I can tell you what part you may play in this reading. I pray you have a phenomenal reading, oh, Ophishas. And let's get right into it, ready to roll to the channel. If you like the content I create, please be, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Alright? Thank you so much for all the love, the kindness, and compassion you guys show me. Alright, what impacted Ophishas and Ophishas' past lives? That is affecting Ophishas in this current lifetime, ethnicity, gender, sexuality. Distance, age, none of that matters. Just take resonates with all the rest. What impacted Ophishas and Ophishas' past lives? That is affecting Ophishas in this current lifetime. Thunder? What does thunder got to do with anything? Thunder? What impacted Ophishas and Ophishas' past lives? That is affecting Ophishas in this lifetime. Some of you guys like boats. You're buying a boat? Okay. What impacted Ophishas and Ophishas' past lives? That was affecting Ophishas in this current lifetime. High priest or priestess and baby. Okay. So in your past lives, I feel like you wanted a baby. Okay. Or you may have died very young as well. I also feel like you may have taken care of babies in your past lives, like you were a pediatrician, okay? You may have had a lot of babies in your past lives. You may have been an only child, okay? Some of you could not have babies in your past lives. Uh, this is Moon and Virgo energy. The High Priestess is psychic, shamans, medium, seers, tarot card readers. The High Priest is, you know, bishops, priests, right? We're talking about constitution, institution, foundation, church, and psychics, right? So in your past lives, I feel like you very well could have been one of those particular um, occupations, okay? You may have consulted one of these types of positions or people, individuals, okay? Why do I feel like this is the birth of a new belief system? In your past lives, this looks like uh, you could have been, uh, this could be an orphanage. Like when you, you know when they leave babies at the, the footstep, I mean now in days it's actually technically illegal unless you can take it to a fire station or something. But some of you were adopted, you were in foster care, you were abandoned, right? This is also about listening to your inner knowing. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers, you're, um, you're listening to one's intuition. What impacted you in your, your last lifetime that's affecting you in this lifetime? Could very well be pregnancy, the birth of a child, right? The birth of a new you, I just heard. Okay, okay, You may be consulting one of these types of people. You may be one of these types of people, right? I mean, you're watching this video. That's you consulting a high priestess. So, that's pretty cool. It's impacting you right now. Also, something about youth. Oh, hold on. Because I have another deck. I didn't realize. I have a whole other deck. Where is it before I get into the rest of your reading? Here it is. Dear goddess, tell me I have to okay. Alright. Oh, this is Ophesius. Cool. Alright, Ophesius. I'm sorry. Alright. I just went into my bag to get my cards. Okay. I like things to be clean. Sorry. All right. Career and life purpose advice for officious. I feel like there's someone who could be pregnant. Okay. Someone could be pregnant. You could be pregnant. This is the birth of a new life. <laughs> I also feel like your childhood greatly impacted you and it's now impacting you in this lifetime. Okay. Some of you, this is about the beginning of belief. Like if you were atheist, you never believed in anything, now you're starting to believe in something new. Hmm. The you. All right. 
I just heard uh, Tupac. Gotta keep your head up. That's what I just heard. Mm -hmm. All right, for real, my purpose advice for officious. You have beware. Be prudent. Things are not what they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters. Don't make any type of financial commitments right now. And you have caution. Use caution when making financial decisions. Careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs. More going out than coming. All right, Opetius. So beware. Beware. Regarding your career and my purpose. This could be going on in your career right now with money deals, right? Ooh. This just flew out. This literally just flew out. Teacher, you have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. You've learned much about money. This is time to put it into practice. And you also have celebrate. You've accomplished so much, and you will accomplish much more, Opetius. Take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. Beautiful. All right, so that's what's going on with your career and life purpose. I think maybe you could be getting a raise or a promotion. You may be leaving a company. You may also not be committing financially to something that doesn't seem right to you. You're also very private about how much money you have. Like, you could be very wealthy, but you just don't tell people that. Like, unless people are really paying attention, they, they really wouldn't know. It's like a secret, right? All right, what can you tell us for financial advice for Ophetius? A lot of you are very wealthy, but you don't tell people that because you don't want to be used for your money. Or like uh, people try to scam you or get you to financially commit to things that are a scam or just not what they seem, right? The saying be shrewd when it comes to financial matters. And if you're very wealthy, then remain, you know, quiet about that. All right, let people assume what they want to assume. All right, what's the financial advice for Ophetius? And remember, there's something to celebrate about, right? Some of you are consulting a teacher or your career life purpose, you're meant to be a teacher. You're meant to go into coaching or uh, motivating others to help them see their own true potential, that they're their own savior, right? That they can do whatever it is that they want to do. But that's only because you learned how to do it yourself, right? All right, so financial advice, Ophetius. Options, many opportunities are becoming available to you now or flooded by too many ideas. Do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself. Seize the moment. Create multiple streams of income. That's your financial advice. So invest in multiple streams of income. Don't doubt yourself during this time. Be confident. You know, between all these options regarding your finances, one will stick out. You see that one will be like gold. And even if they prefer silver, stay gold. Okay, okay. That's your advice there. Also, charity. So see where you can give more of yourself to helping others and make a difference. Humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work could be right for you. Donating can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. Remember, whatever you give comes right back. You could be getting into charity work, okay? Thinking of giving back financially. It's saying um, there will be a sense of not just pleasure, not even just satisfaction, but a sense of gratitude and appreciation for what you already have by being giving, okay, giving to charities. Um, it's going to also be like community service I'm hearing for some of you, so that's pretty amazing. Your financial advice, though, is, you know, continue to invest, increase that wealth, right? But also remember to give. Get that, right? All right, and that could be simple. It doesn't have to be through money. It could be through your time. Like doing these videos, this is how I give back to the community. Some people cannot afford readings during this time in a pandemic, in a panini, in a panorama, in a pandemic, okay? Some people can't. So even though I'm on vacation, taking the time to do this for you, Ophetius, because it could really help somebody right now, okay? So, you know, it could be little things. It could be as simple as paying for the person behind you, uh, Starbucks, right? It could be super simple, right, Ophetius? 
So let's get into what is the energy that will be impacting Ophetius in the future. Just saying give back, though. Even if it's just your time. Right? Even if it's just your time. Ooh, what is the energy that's impacting? You have Eros. All right. Hold on. And you have the gem. So hold on. I'm going to look that up because I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to say the wrong thing. We, we like to have the right information. Right? Again, look at your Chiron. That is where you can tell what you may resonate with this reading. So this is the number 71. Okay? Breaking down to an 8. Venus and Leo. Some of you have an Ophetius in your Venus. Others of you have Taurus or Libra probably in your Chiron. Okay? Um, this is 71. Breaking down to an 8. You could be a Scorpio as well. All right? This is transformation. But Eros is the mischievous god of love, a minion and constant companion of the goddess Aphrodite. I was just doing a lot of research on Aphrodite um, as Venetian energy. She is Taurus Libra. But she was created from Mother Gaia and Uranus. Uranus representing heaven, okay? And through the castration of Uranus and Kronos, um, Mother Gaia, right? So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, she took the severed organs. Well, Kronos, her son, took the severed organs, threw it into the ocean, and through the fumes and the blood, Aphrodite was created, the goddess of love, okay? Also from the sea, right? Like the mermaid. Um, yeah. So Eros represents love and sexual desire. It's your, um, that's really interesting. It's love and sex, though. The energy that's going to be impacting you is love and sex, Eros fell madly and deeply in love with Aphrodite and took her to his heavenly home. Okay, and then you have the gem, which is 56. Breaking down to an 11, you could be dealing with a, a Libra. Okay, you have Libra in your chart. You could also have Capricorn or Aquarius in your chart, most likely Aquarius. I'm getting strong Aquarius vibes. You could uh, have Aquarius or Libra in your chart, or this is Moon and Virgo energy. So some of you guys are psychic, shamans, medium seers, or there could be a small gem, right, that you find in your own intuition or even through watching a reading. It could be one thing that said it doesn't have to be all of it, but this could also be you, okay? It's shining extremely brightly. This is also the truth because Libra is the truth. It's, it's balance. It's also um, partnership, awareness. It's when you fall in love. The gem. You see how many colors are in this? Does someone like gems? Someone sells gems? I'm wearing Queen Jordy gems. Go check her out. I don't do a reading without them. I love her. She's the best in the world. The gem. I think a lot of you are shining very brightly and some of you are mothers. Or you're becoming a mother for the first time. Isn't this interesting how this looks like a diamond between someone's mouth? Falling in love. The diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. Mm. Mm. I feel like this is a love that doesn't come around very often. I feel like you're... Um, Maybe you're feeling very sexual, but you desire something, someone. You could be desiring someone, or someone desires you. Okay? Let's get in. That is very interesting. Okay. Let's get into the tarot. What is the future for Ophetius? Wow. What is the future for Ophetius? You could be very private about your business right now. Like say you're making a lot of money in your business or you're just very wealthy or it's like you're making more deals, right? Or maybe even getting more clients. Very private about this. 
lot of people are watching your success right now, Ephesians. Okay? What is the future for Ephesians? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Jupiter and Capricorn. Capricorn and Jupiter. Excuse me. Chariot. Could be... Uh, Pentacles, King of Wands. What else do you have for Ophelia? Oh, Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Someone's losing um, their parental rights for some of you. The Three of Cups. Someone's losing their parental rights. Oh my God, that just flew out like crazy. Ten of Cups, the Sun, Four of Wands in reverse, Emperor, Temperance. Okay, so someone's coming towards you, or you're married. You're the, if you're in a relationship, you're the happiest you've ever been in a relationship, and there's nobody else involved. Others of you, I'm seeing if you're single. There's somebody who is going to come very direct towards you wanting a relationship or a commitment. They'll make you feel very welcomed. Um, this could also be like a, a boss, okay? This could be like you get a new job that you really enjoy after no longer pursuing something else that didn't feel right for you. This love, if this is love, it's teaching you to gently love yourself with the butterfly. It's very transformative. Uh, these are two people who know how to have a relationship and believe in relationships. It's also the willingness to learn something new. Some of you work in spirituality or you could be a light worker. Someone's very angelic. Patient. Patient. This could be the father of your children. Somebody wants commitment. Or someone is very happy in their commitment, okay? Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. If you're single, someone's coming towards you that wants commitment. Or you could be like a lawyer, doctor, teacher. Someone's coming back towards you. It could be a Pisces or a Capricorn, Saturn and Pisces. Uh, Pisces and Saturn, I mean. But the Emperor, um, someone older could be coming towards you. Or you're older. doesn't really matter honestly, about gender, but I'm seeing that someone knows what they want in their life. They speak it from their chest, okay? They're at peace. They're at peace. There's no money for the non-essentials with the two of pentacles in reverse, or someone who had, like, a lot of responsibilities, obligations, they dropped that. And it could have also been uh, child abuse, like, if they had bad memories with someone, or they were stuck on their ex, or they just had childhood trauma that they didn't figure out, or someone didn't have any money, and that's why they're losing um, the parental rights. I'm seeing, like, oh my god, this is so interesting. Someone's letting it go. Someone's letting it go. They've outgrown it. They've outgrown it. Could have been abandonment, foster care. That's a strange message. Um, some of you were put in foster care or orphanages, or different things of that nature because your parents could not afford you. This could have also been if you were raised in an environment or a family that made you feel as if um, there's never enough, right? That would affect your abundance now, how you view money. How you view, like, what you deserve, what's okay for you to earn. 
if they made you feel like, oh, you're too expensive, right? Then you sort of felt like, am I worthy, right? It's for some of you. That's very interesting. You have the chariot in reverse, Cancer. Um, Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Leo. Someone's having an emotional outburst, or there's a car accident. Okay? But someone's having um, an emotional outburst. And they're receiving bad public recognition. Okay? It's not a victory. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse, dropping the burdens of Three of Cups. Some of you are dating, Mercury and Cancer. You have... This is Jupiter, well, Sagittarius and Saturn. So there's a lot of responsibilities, obligations that's been absolutely dropped. Burdens have been dropped. A lot of you are hanging out with friends, family, you could be dating, mingling, you could be partying, you could be celebrating an anniversary, a wedding, a birthday party even. Okay. Someone can't travel. You have the Magician, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, the Nine of Wands, Moon, and Sagittarius. You're in separation. There's been frequent disputes. It's like you're the wounded warrior. I thought you just said, fuck it. I just want to have fun. And you have all the tools necessary to manifest what you want. It's like bees to honey. And you're the honey. Right? Everything you touch turns to gold. As above, so below. As it is, so it be as within, so without. Nine of Wands. There's a separation. Could be Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Missed opportunity, Mars and Pisces, Ten of Cups. I'm going to see something here. If you're single, you're not settling for anything less. I also feel like you put up boundaries towards people. And with the sun here, king of wands. It's like love at first sight. Leo, Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio. There could also be a breakup here or getting rid of a home. The four of wands in reverse. Or it's just like something's canceled. Could be like a party, a wedding, a get together gets canceled. Okay? But with the sun, I feel like <laughs> the king of wands, you, if you're in a relationship, it's highly demanding. It would be considered highly demanding because the person you're dealing with is very popular, well-known, right? I feel like you've let, if you're single, I feel like you're dating. That's what, I, that's what it looks like. And with the sun, the eye, and the horse, if you're in a relationship, you're falling in love all over again with your spouse. I don't see multiple people here at all. The five of wands is in reverse, and this is justice, Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra, you can have Libra in your chart, but um, if, it's a, if this is legal, this is going in your favor. Okay, if this is a divorce, this goes in your favor. See how beautiful she is, you see that? This is also the truth. Justice, Libra energy, it is the truth. Because it's like the law. It's good or bad. Right or wrong. The truth. It's cold and balanced and it's just, right? So five of wands in reverse, Saturn, Leo and Saturn. Um, there's not multiple people involved. You're also not involved in any drama. I feel like there's someone who, who comes towards you as you're living your, your day to day. <laughs> it's, it looks like you could even be somebody brand new. And if you're in a relationship, I feel like you're falling in love with your partner all over again. Someone could be a performer, dancer, actor, singer, rapper. You could be one or you're like 
very attractive, you're a go-getter, you know? You don't wait around for anything or anyone. You're like, I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know, right? Money just flows to you. The four of wands in reverse. I feel like something is ending or it gets canceled. I also feel like you got rid of a lot of energies or, or things that didn't serve you, people who didn't serve you, um, who, people who were inconsistent with communication or just flighty. You didn't want any part of it. Mm -mm. You're like, I, that's no. You're going to get exactly what you want. When justice comes up, that's like you're going to get exactly what you want because that's exactly what you deserve. This is you getting what you deserve. So, congratulations. Um, I see somebody coming towards you who means business. I also feel like you could be very successful. Okay? If you're older, then you could be very successful as well. The, it, it's, it's almost like you could be in the energy of... You can manifest anything that you want. People naturally are gravitating towards you. You may be noticing that as well. What will happen in the future of Ophetius' love life? What will happen in the future? You have affection. So someone's going to be showing you some affection. Okay. Someone just gets you. Someone just gets you. But I feel like there's also a lot of people around that person. You have frequency. It's like sunflowers, like Leo energy. Someone could be well-known or famous. This is also loving your job. This is fame as well. Ten of Cups. Someone's like famous. Like they're just well known. They just are. But there's also something where someone's having an emotional outburst. Or they're highly emotional. Like if someone didn't cheat you the right way or something like that, they're really emotional about it. They're not okay. They're really emotional. Probably don't even know this, honestly. What is hindering Ophetius and Ophetius' love life? What is hindering Ophetius and Ophetius' love life? Regrets, irrationality, promiscuity, stranger, one night stand. Someone could be having one night stands, okay? Where is it? Three of Cups. One. That person could be very emotional. And that's why they're not moving forward towards you. And you have career, promotions, passion, offers, stability, wealth, new ideas. Okay? Regrets, irrationality. Somebody is in a lot of regret. Someone's very emotional. Someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity or you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. You also have bad memories in the past about being juggled. Like if someone's dealing with multiple people. So that's something you don't want to deal with anymore. Or you're not dealing with people who come in and out. They're really flighty and they only want to distract you away from a blessing or somebody brand new. You've gotten rid of people like that. You've deleted their numbers. You've deleted their the connection to them. Okay, I do see that. I see that out here. Um, but what's hindering you could be your career. Your career could be very unique and intimidating. Um, somebody could be in a higher position in their career than the other person. That could be affecting it. They could be like, someone doesn't feel like they're getting anywhere. They feel like they're getting bad public recognition. That's what they feel like. Let's look at who is Ophetius romantically connecting to in their soul. I'm about to look at that. Yeah, the career. Oh, so you're romantically connecting 50s or older. So that could be your age or someone you're connecting to. And you have astrology. All right. Whoever you're romantically connecting to in your soul is interested in astrology. Maybe studies astrology could be an astrologer or pays attention to astrology. Them even watching this video means that they're interested in astrology, right? Um, there could be age here. So that may give you a hint. All right, let's look at what would be significant in M. Okay, improving. What would be significant in improving Ophetius's 
love life. I'm about to go down to the pool, you guys. Detective and achiever. Some of you are detectives, right? This can be officers, police officers, right? Detectives, investigators, okay? What can improve your love life? Who else had this? Someone else had this. Uh, what can improve your love life? You can be done with a Virgo. The detective of the Zodiac is a Virgo. Um, achiever. What could improve your love life is maybe working out, taking good care of yourself, and asking good questions. Just ask. You got a question, you're trying to figure something out, just ask. Okay? I feel like someone's been snooping. <laughs> you really just ask. You're still going to get the truth regardless. So, yeah. But what can improve your love life, what will be significant in improving it is also you seeing things differently. You being willing to ask questions, good questions, okay, um, instead of assuming, okay? Let's get into what will unexpectedly be happening. And that's just in life in general, right? What will unexpectedly be happening in Ophicius's future? Oh my God. There's cards flipping out, Ophicius. Hold on. What will unexpectedly... A lot of you work with children. Oh. Alright. What will unexpectedly be happening, Ophicius' future? A lot of you uh, have a talent that makes you a lot of money. What will unexpectedly be happening in Ophicius' future? Euphoria. Mm -hmm. 30. And then you have 42, Solitude. All right. You could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Um, solitude, though. Let's look up. I want to have the actual definition for you guys this is intense excitement and happiness okay so this is like an extreme unrealistic feeling of physical and emotional well-being it's like a high so you're gonna be feeling very excited some of you the number three is gemini it's going to be taurus or libra the empress okay so you may have somebody in your life that loves themselves unconditionally and loves humanity unconditionally and has boundaries. Um, you may be married. This could also be like the mother of your child. Um, yeah, the empress is also someone who could be older. Does not have to be. You don't know if that resonates for you. This is also excitement, though, of the birth of something new. You could be pregnant as well. This could be like a baby shower. Congratulations. Okay. I feel like if you're in the military, you're getting an, a reward for something. And you have solitude. So somebody, um, what you don't see unexpectedly, you can be taking time alone, making a decision in love. Some of you work with your partner at work. Others of you, I'm saying you could honestly, Virgo, you could love your job. You honestly could love what you do. Yeah, I feel like you love what you do. Let's look at... You could very well be like a, a judge, a teacher, a counselor. You could be a CEO, entrepreneur, police officer, detective. You could be any of those, okay? Either way, I'm seeing there's an excitement and a, a feeling of revelation for you, all right? Let's look at if the person Ophicius is romantically connected to an Ophicius soul because they anything to Ophicius what they say. I feel like you're open to new love. If you're single, you're open to new love. Like anybody, you're just like, um, you know, but you have a boundaries. You're not just going to accept any type of treatment or any type of people, okay? 
You are much more beautiful than you know. And you have, I am deeply sorry that I walked away from you. Okay. If Ophetius could say anything to the person Ophetius is romantically connecting to an Ophetius' soul, what would Ophetius say? I'm sorry for pulling away. This is just how I deal with things. And you just don't know how scary you are to me. I wish you could see yourself through my eyes. It's a shame you can't see your worth. Oh, Ophetius, you went there. Okay. Ophetius' outcome in the future. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, so you have what's it called? size. I mean, you have a lot. You gave me four cards. I'm not going to take all four cards. Give me one card for Ophetius. What's Ophetius' outcome? There it is. You have wife, Taurus, Libra energy. You have death, Scorpio. I feel like somebody could be wounded. They could go through an accident or a burn or someone's healing from a car accident. Some of you are married or you're getting married or you're a wife. Like you have a wife. Or someone views you as their wife. And you may not even know that. <laughs> Some of you guys could be Tauruses or Libras. Or you have that in your chart. But death. So something is ending. We do have the Scorpio super pink moon so there's something huge happening here this could be just the drastic end of something someone could also be having like an emotional outburst or breakdown because of this all right the death there could be an actual death others of you it could even just symbolize like a near-death experience or the ending this could be like a divorce or a breakup for some of you if that resonates for you like you're ending something could be ending a job ending connections ending um whatever does not feel like it, it it's fulfilling it's ending okay <laughs> all right Ophetius. the solution for Ophetius regarding Ophetius's future the solution for Ophetius regarding Ophetius's future wow i've been getting this card a lot glacier uh, changes unconscious depths you may feel you are swimming in stagnant waters, but just because the waters are still doesn't mean that there's not an abundance of new life and movement bubbling below the surface. The changes you want are happening slowly because a transformation as deep as this does not happen overnight. Though, down below, on an unconscious or very subtle level, the changes you desire are forming. If you can take a moment to be content in the stillness and nothingness, you'll be able to feel these subtle changes taking places. You know, this is sort of taking place. This is almost like how the castration, she threw it into the ocean. Well, Kronos threw it into the ocean, right? And it made Aphrodite. Hmm. Even though you can't see that something's happening, something's happening. Huh. Venetian energy, Taurus Libra. Do you ever feel, look back and take note of how far you've come? Do your cells feel more alive? Do you feel more breath in your body? When you look in the mirror, are you glowing more? Are your dreams changing? There's more going on below the surface than you know. A giant transformation is taking place. And as the unconscious slowly becomes conscious, the light in your psyche will grow bright enough to reveal the wondrous depths and wholeness of you. This is also very spiritual. Whales are highly spiritual animals and also very ancient, like the ancient ones. Something about Egypt or the Giza Pyramid could be significant as well. Do you see how she doesn't see this whole glacier? There's this tiny little person. There's a lot more, right? And this could even be just emotions, acknowledging that there's a lot more emotions beneath the surface. Or there's a lot of transformation and that you're bigger than you feel underneath the surface realizing your value right let's get you a sign on features all right here's your charm my love is alive that's literally what it says my love is alive okay 
If you just had a child, it's a boy. Or someone's pregnant with a boy. I'm so sorry if I ruined the gender. Let's get into this. That usually happens when people watch my readings. I always end up ruining the gender by accident. I try to warn y'all. All right. Some of you have a, a little girl. See so yeah, she has this dress on. All right. <laughs> I'm about to go downstairs and get ready to go to the pool and do some dinner. 33. I myself am a master number 33, life path number six. Uh, this is just about being the visionary, the nurturer, right? Uh, that could be significant for you. This is also the master teacher. Number 33 is the, uh, the master number, um, master healer, master teacher. So some of you guys are teachers or healers, right? Or you're seeing one or you've learned a lot and that's helped you be able to help others. That's really beautiful. You may even have Gemini in your chart or Virgo in your chart. You've drawn, it seems, a double three. No luck at all today for thee. You seem to be well satisfied with self and your affairs, but you would be much happier by assuming others' cares. A dark woman will soon cause you trouble. You will not get your wish. So that's what your reading is, Ophetius. Please take what resonates. Leave all the rest. Thank you so much for being here. And... If you feel too good to watch this reading, then it is for you. Later, Ophetius. I say.